Hey family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Apollo Diversity Solutions. Now in this video today, we are replacing TouchPad for this Lenovo ThinkPad T470 laptop. Now, as you can see, this TouchPad is misbehaving. It's, it's not responding, so it's a faulty one and we need to replace it with this new, new TouchPad. So join me in this video as we replace the TouchPad for this Lenovo. So best practice before you doing anything, we need to first shut down this laptop and uh, after shutting it down, we need to also disconnect all the power connections that includes the power cord and then also the batteries and uh, then we proceed. So I'm shutting it down as you can see, then after shutting it down, I will need to have to, it has completely shut down, I need to have to remove the battery the external battery first and uh, among this, the tools that I'm going to be using I'll be using this Philip uh, school driver and then uh, this uh, Philips minus so first things first we've disconnected the power cord and shut down the laptop then also we are removing the battery this is the battery then we have to uh, we have to unscrew these screws to remove the base, uh, remove the laptop base or rather the cover. And uh, they are one, two, three, four. Three. I will leave a description in the link below for you to see how you can dis uh, disassemble and reassemble the Lenovo T470 laptop, this particular model. So we are unscrewing, we remove these screws, make them lose a bit so that we can remove the bottom, so that we can remove the laptop bottom. So once we are done, we can then uh, open this cover, we rather remove the cover, remove the base cover gently using the presser tool do this gently in case you have a pry tool you can just unlock those locks in a circular way gently so that you don't cause any damage oh, the bottom cover So once that is done, we can then disconnect 
can then disconnect the internal battery, which is this. It has two screws, one, two screws. So we also disconnect it. Disconnect the internal battery. First of all, you have to first disconnect it off the motherboard. Then you remove the screws. So this is the internal battery that we need to get rid of as well. Once that is done, we can then uh, disconnect the touchpad. And uh, this is the connector. You have to first uh, disconnect the connector that connects the touchpad before unscrewing the four screws. So these are the four screws that hold the touchpad and uh, we can remove them. That's screw number one, screw number two, screw number three over here, then screw number four. Once we are done, we can then uh, put back our cover gently so that no particle or no item can fall off the lap. Then we can open and gently remove, gently remove the touchpad. So this is our touchpad that we have removed, the old one, and we need to replace it with this new one over here. And in the same spirit, you replace so you ensure that the the the, uh, the serial number is is well aligned. I'll just put this aside. Is well aligned to the bottom. So put it back there. Once that is done, we can then close our bezel and uh, again remove the bottom, the laptop bottom, and then put back our screws, then we put back the screws, the first screws that we first removed, so that it's uh, held, so that the touchpad is held firmly, screws so that the touchpad is held firmly. Screw number three. And we get screw number four, the last one. Then once we are done we can then connect back our touchpad connector gently. That is done, we can then put back our internal battery into its position and uh, put back our internal battery into its position. Then we get our two screws that hold the internal battery onto its uh, fitting position. And screw for the external, sorry for the internal battery. Once that is done, we can then connect the internal battery back. And once that is done, we can then put back our bottom cover, our laptop bottom cover. Fitting the locks very well. Make sure that it's held firmly. So once that is done, we then tighten the six screws that we had loosened earlier on. The screw number one, loosened screw number two, loosened screw number three. Screw number four loosened. Screw number five. And then 
screw number six here. So once that is done, we can then put back our external battery as well. And then we are good to go. So we can power it on to test whether it's successful in replacing the touch pad. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.